guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video on Disney Vacation Club. I am so, so excited. Our last um, Disney World trip that we went on, I did go over there and see the guys over at the Disney Vacation Club. It is something that I've wanted to do for a long time and I just haven't, just really haven't taken the time to go over and get all of the details. But I did and I am so, so excited that I am now a Disney Vacation Club member, yay! So what Disney Vacation Club is, is it is sort of like a timeshare, like kind of not really, but sort of. Um, what you do is you buy points at one of their locations. So there's all sorts of Disney Vacation Club locations, resorts um, around Disney World and in Disneyland and other places like Vero Beach and Disney's Hilton Head. And it is a certain dollar amount per point, and then you decide on what you want to spend and how many points you get for that. And then you actually get a deed to a little tiny, tiny, tiny part of your resort. Now, there's lots of choices that you can choose from. You can choose to go resale through Disney. I would never do resale just on my own. That's just my personal opinion. You don't really know for sure that that deed is clear. So, you know, the person may have not paid all of their dues or they may have not paid all of their monthly fees to Disney. Uh, not fees, but their monthly, like their loan amount, you just never know. So if I were going to buy resale, I would do it through Disney. And I was shown different ones that they had. They had one at Disney's Hilton Head that was less money per point. Yeah, less money per point. Um, and then they had, you know, the brand new ones, which is what I chose. I chose the Wilderness Lodge at, or Copper Creek at Wilderness Lodge. And I did that for a couple of different reasons. I just didn't get as many points. So I had a certain number in mind that I wanted to spend and I could have gotten a lot more points at Hilton Head, but I knew that I would never go there. I would never, that's just not me. You know, I have been a Disney lover for many, many, many years. I have gone to Disney since I was a little, little girl. I continue to go to Disney about twice a year. So I know that I will be at Walt Disney World. I also know that I love, love, love Disney cruises and I'm actually going on a Disney cruise in February and I'm using my points for that cruise. So it made more sense to me just to get less points, but get it at a resort where I know that there's a good possibility that I will be going there at some point. So that is called your home resort. So my home resort is Copper Creek. Now, I will be spending a lot of my points in the campground because I have an RV, and so you can use your points at the campground. And the great thing about that is at the campground, I don't even have to pay the $95 exchange rate or the exchange fee. So as long as I can, you know, as long as there's availability, I can use my points to stay at the campground, which that sold me because I was like, well, I have the RV and I'm not sure if I would use it, but when you know I asked these questions and they said, well, yes, you can use it at the campground, you can use it on the cruises, then I saw the real, real value in it for me. Also, there are times where I would like to go to Disney for three or four days, you know, if I wanted to go for food and wine festival or for the not so scary Halloween party. It's really not feasible for me to take the RV all the way there, which is, you know, takes me two days to get there for just three or four days. So in any instance that that would come up, then I can stay at my home resort. Now the advantage of having a home resort is that you get to book out 11 months in advance instead of just seven months. So you guys know that Disney just books up really quickly, especially for those special times like Food and Wine Festival or Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or Christmas. So it's great to have that extra jump on booking at your home resort. Another reason why I chose Copper Creek is that it is a full 50 years. So, 
that is amazing to me that I can actually leave this to my kids in my will uh, because it's a real estate interest. You get an actual deed for a little tiny part of your home resort. And so 50 years of vacationing. Now I didn't pay for everything all at one time. I didn't want to do that. So I'm paying a low monthly amount and you know, once that's paid off, then that's it. And I have 50 years that, of course, at 51 years old, I won't be using it for 50 years, but it's something that I can leave to my children and they will be able to use it for the remainder of the time. So I loved that fact about DVC. Now with DVC, you also get so many perks. And that is one of the great advantages of buying DVC through Disney is that you get all of the perks. Whether you buy resale through Disney or whether you buy a new resort such as Copper Creek. There's things like 20% off at all of the shops. There's dining um, percentages off. There are percentages off of your annual passes because if you go to Disney and go to the parks more than seven or eight days, it's better to get an annual pass. And with DVC, you get a discount on that annual pass, so it makes it even better. So there's lots of perks involved with DVC and I just thought that with my Disney habits and the way that I like to go Disney that or go to Disney, then it definitely would be beneficial for me as a cost savings. So I'm using my points for the cruise and in 2019, I would love to go on the Alaskan Disney cruise and so I'm gonna probably save my points after this cruise just to go on that cruise with my points. And so there's lots of things that you can do with your points and you can be just very, very flexible. So that is a great thing about the, the DVC club as well. Now, when you purchase DVC, they send you this big packet in the mail. The first thing that is in here that I could not wait to get is this tote bag. Look at this, isn't this so cute? So I know that you can't like really get an appreciation of what this bag feels like and what it looks like because in person it's amazing. There's this huge like really thick embroidered patch on here that says welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. And that's one of the things that they always say, like anytime you call in, uh, when you buy DVC, they say welcome home because it is your home now. You own a tiny, tiny piece of Walt Disney World. And it says Disney Vacation Club member right here. So that's really nice. And then it has the Mickey like inside, it's lined with that. And then it has a nice zipper here with the little Mickey pull. So see that little Mickey pull there? So I love this bag. I am a tote bag girl. I am always bringing stuff back and forth to the studio and this will definitely come in handy because I use all of my tote bags all of the time. So I loved this. And then we also got this nice big package of everything um, that you can imagine that you would want to know about your new membership. So let me see what is inside here. Look at Minnie. Oh my goodness, she is so cute. You know, I, I just love the fact that it is for 50 years too because it's just something that I can leave to my kids. It's not that many points. Some people have like a ton of points, but I just got what I could afford and what I wanted to pay monthly on. You know, I had that number in mind and, uh, but it's definitely enough for me to do, you know, at least one vacation, one nice vacation a year. So that's really nice. All right, so I'm not gonna go through everything in here because it's a lot of personal information, but let me just see what I can share with you. Um, okay, so this is just all of my paperwork. So lots of, um, you know, everything that 
I signed when I joined, so that's paperwork and more paperwork. So lots of paperwork in there. So two folders worth of paperwork. And then let's see what else we have in here. Okay. Ah, oh, okay. This is the, um, it looks like a handbook of some sort. I guess like a bunch of legal stuff that I probably will not even read. But anyway, it says Copper Creek Villas and Cabins at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. So this little book is definitely for my resort, my home resort of Copper Creek. And I'm sure it just tells you everything about Copper Creek in there. Let's see, what is this? Um, hmm. Building energy rating. I don't really know why that is in there. Hmm. I, don't know. I have no clue. Uh, another good thing about DVC is that you can actually write it off on your taxes because it is a second home per se. So you do get some tax advantages there as well. Um, this is just like a little flyer. Let's see, what is this? This is the Disney Vacation Club point chart. So this is what tells you exactly how many points you can use at each resort. So there are lots of resorts in Walt Disney World. I believe there's one DVC in Disneyland. There is Vero Beach, which is in Florida. There's Disney Hilton Head. There's Alani in Hawaii. And you can also use your points at many, many different places all throughout the world, really, through a company called RCI. All you would do is pay a $95 um, like exchange rate if you wanted to stay in a place that wasn't DBC. And then you can stay and use your points at you know, where really wherever you want. I think there was like 4,000 resorts all around the United States and the world that you can use, you know, your points on. So you're not stuck just using it at Disney World, which is really, really cool. And the great thing about their system is it's not like you're buying a week or two weeks or whatever at a certain place. You are buying points. That way it's flexible and you can use your points whenever and wherever you want to use them. You can bank your points, you can borrow your points like from the, from the next year if you have a big vacation coming up. There's lots of things that you can do with your points. So I really, really like that. But this booklet here just tells you exactly how many points you need to stay at the different places, such as Olani. It tells you, um, you know, how many points a deluxe studio is, how many points a one bedroom villa, two bedroom villa, etc. So that is really, really nice. So it gives you this point chart. And then this is just like disclosures and things like that. All right, so that is basically it. I just wanted to share with you my excitement of being a DVC member. I know that I will use it, my family will use it, and it is something that, like I said, will be around that I can pass along to my kids uh, when I am no longer here or no longer able to use it. They will be able, because you know, it'll be paid for by that time for sure, and then they will be able to, you know, enjoy Disney. And they're, you know, gonna have to split the points, but you know, whatever, at least it's something, right? So I think that that is, you know, I love my, I'm really, really excited about my choice. I think that it's definitely gonna be helpful at the campground so that I can just use my points instead of coming out of pocket for those days at the campground. So all around, it was a good choice and I'm really excited to be DVC. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys, have a great day, bye-bye.